This is how I got my first six Go Ahead Level SaaS clients without knowing anything about SaaS. And in case you're wondering, here's the proof. This is my agency Stripe account. I'm gonna show you last month. So June 1st till June 30th. There we go. Process about 17,000 last month just in Stripe. And then we process another 2,000 outside of Stripe. So about 19,000, almost 20,000 in the last month. And of course, not all of this was SaaS payments. We have a portion of our agency that is the SaaS income that we receive from our clients. And then some of it, which is our services. And I'll talk about it in just a second. So how we got our first six clients is by doing something entirely different from the majority of people doing SaaS agencies with Go Ahead Level. And so so what we wanted to do is instead of trying to sell SaaS right away, we wanted to sell services that required SaaS as a byproduct. So you might be wondering, okay, but what does that mean? What most people do is they do some kind of offer, they run traffic through Facebook ads, just something to get people to sign up to their SaaS directly. Let's say Facebook ads and then people sign up to their SaaS. What we wanted to do is something different. We wanted to find out what is a problem that we can solve that requires SaaS as a byproduct and that customers will need if they get X problem solved. So at our agency, we solve a specific problem for local businesses and then those local businesses become SaaS clients as a byproduct. To solve that X problem, they need SaaS. And so let me just explain how that works. So in essence, we sell SaaS to our clients without specifically telling them that we're selling them SaaS. So when we first started our SaaS agency a few months back, we tried running ads and we noticed that it was quite expensive to acquire clients directly. So we're running Facebook ads to an offer and hoping that people would sign up to our SaaS. Imagine you're running Facebook ads and the ad spend to acquire a new client is $150. Now, let's say the LTV, which is the lifetime value of a client is three months at a hundred dollars a month so you get three hundred dollars back which means you would profit within this three months within the lifetime value of that client hundred and fifty dollars for every hundred and fifty dollars that you spend you get a hundred and fifty back in profit in this hypothetical example that I just created month one you're negative $50. Month two, you profit $50. And month three, you profit $100 before they churn. So that poses a problem for beginners. You're spending money and you have to manage your cash flows so that you don't outspend however much they can bring you back in LTV. And so if you're just getting started and you don't know how to run Facebook ads profitably and you're competing with big SaaS companies, big software companies, it's going to be really hard to run Facebook ads and get clients immediately. But instead, what we did is we flipped the entire equation. We thought, what if instead of paying to acquire clients, what if we could get clients to pay us to onboard them to our software? So instead of running ads, what if we try acquiring SaaS clients at a profit from day one without having to spend money to get those clients? So at our agency, what we do on a very basic level is we help local businesses with their presence. So getting them a website, getting them Google reviews, SEO, that kind of stuff. And so we do outreach, we get a new website client and typically they'll pay us anywhere between a thousand fifteen hundred dollars two thousand to just build their website up front so we have profit from day one then we sign them up to our SaaS. how come well they need a software that hosts that specific website that we built for them. And so let's say we charge them hypothetically $34 a month and the lifetime value of a client is 12 months. So $408, which means on average, our clients churn every 12 months. That's gonna be $400 of extra profit, which means instead of just making the LTV, we're now making $1,900 plus. So we acquire clients at a profit upfront. They pay us $1,500 to build their websites. And then from there, they sign up to our SaaS to host that website and they pay us $34 a month, let's say for 12 months. And then it totals about $408 in a year. So why I think this is awesome for beginners is SaaS is a bit harder than service agencies. And so this is a great way to get started. Like that's how we created our agency. We started this hybrid agency where we have a bit of both. We get the past passive income that we like, but then we get those upfront larger payments from clients. Best part is you don't have to spend money to acquire new SaaS clients. In fact, they're pretty much paying you to onboard them to your own SaaS and then you profit from day one. Plus your LTV is higher, but there are a couple downsides. The first one is you have to do more work. It's not like automatic. You're not just putting money into ads and then acquiring new clients. It's more of like a one-on-one -on -one type of process and you're building websites, you're service delivering, and then you're signing them up to the SaaS. And so
so it's just one client at a time an issue that i see a lot of SaaS beginner agency owners is that they need to have really good systems in place so that clients see their value right away and they don't churn in the SaaS space this is what we call ttv which is time to value which is just the amount of time it takes for a new customer to get value from your product so what this means is imagine we sold a coaching program to lose weight if the time to value is a year, meaning from the point somebody buys your coaching program to the point they start seeing value, so start seeing results, start losing weight, takes them a whole year. The likelihood is they're gonna quit, they're gonna refund, they're gonna cancel. But let's just imagine in another hypothetical scenario, you sell a client for a coaching program to lose weight and within 24 hours, they're already lost five pounds. Let's just imagine, I know it's impossible, but the likelihood that the people that saw that time to value much quicker is they're going to stick with it. They're not going to churn. They're not going to cancel and they're going to finish the entire program. So in the software space, it's really important that as soon as you onboard a new client, as soon as a new client signs up to your SaaS, they're getting value and they don't churn. So in other words, the best part about Go Ahead Level is you have an awesome software, but if clients don't know how to use it and get value, they will for sure cancel. So the best part about our method is we kind of mitigate the churn risk. So imagine you build an amazing website for a client and they're getting customers through it, they're running their business through that website, and they're seeing that value from day one. They didn't have to do any of the work themselves, they didn't have to set up their sub account, they didn't have to set up the connections, they didn't have to build the website, none of that stuff. The client is gonna see the value from day one. As soon as they sign up to your SaaS, they're gonna see, okay, I can run my business from here, I can collect payments, I have my Google reviews coming through, and I have my website. And so that's why this method is so cool, is because you're pairing up a sticky offer with a SaaS, which means they won't cancel, or the likelihood that they're gonna cancel is much much lower so we're building a system for a client a system that runs their business hence they won't cancel since that system is now essential for their operations best part is the client didn't have to do any work up front we took care of it we set them up we build their website we set up their automations all that stuff so that's why the likelihood that they're going to churn is much lower so a quick example is let's say you go for a local business let's say a landscaping company you build them a website and you set them up with the google review automation that you can do through go level and then you teach them how to collect payments track their customers use their crm all within one system so now they pretty much have to stay with your SaaS because not only does their website run from there so if they want to cancel your SaaS, they can't because they already have a website unless they wanted to just fully close on their business then yeah that's a different story but assuming they wanted to keep their business running their whole website runs from go ahead level from your own white label SaaS, so they really can't cancel and they have all these other benefits that it's going to make their business run way more smoothly which means they're not going to want to cancel so how do we get these clients at our agency first thing we do is we picked a service a problem that we wanted to help business with for us this was web design for local businesses so what this means is building better websites for clients so that they have a better online presence you know a website that converts that is optimized that has calendars that has forms that had seo google reviews all that stuff so that when leads come through their website the likelihood that they're going to purchase or book a service is higher so you might be wondering, okay, but how do we find clients for our agency? So there's a few like outreach methods that work. I have a few videos on this, how we got our first five clients for our web design agency. You can check that out. I have a system on how we did cold email and most recently how we did content. You can check all three of those videos. I talk in more detail as to how we get clients for our agency right now. The next step is selling those clients on the service. So what I would say is sell a solution to a pain they're facing. So let's say with the same example, landscaping company comes through and we're not really trying to sell them a website we're trying to sell them the benefits of that website we're trying to sell them on the desired outcome so let's say the business owner is telling you hey you know my website sucks i'm not getting organic traffic through google nobody's able to find me then you can tackle that problem with a good website that has good seo and that has good reputation management which is google reviews so the more google reviews you can get them the higher they're going to rank on google they're going to start showing up organically and they're going to get more bookings which means more revenue so that's how we can help low Local businesses with the services that we're offering the next thing is during that sales calls once the clients are sold on the service they truly believe that that's going to help them with their business and they're ready to go we tell them by the way there's one thing you're going to need to sign up with which is the software that runs the websites the automations for the google reviews all that stuff and it's just one software and it's x amount per month and at that point the client's already sold they see the benefit and everyone knows that you need a specific software to run your website so they already know that's coming whether it is squarespace wix shopify it doesn't matter you need a software and in that scenario it's going to be our own 
white label go high level and the final step is just onboarding those new clients and what that looks like is having a professional SaaS website so that your clients can sign up through your website and i'm going to show you why this is the template that go high level gives us to run like a SaaS agency like a marketing agency and it just sucks and so imagine you were to show this to a client that is sold that wants the service that wants to sign up to the SaaS, and they look at this and it looks like a scam clients aren't stupid they want to buy from businesses they trust and this just gives me like a scam vibe this looks really outdated looks like a generic website that i just randomly found and it just doesn't look like a software that i would sign up for especially if it's something that i have to pay every month so what we've done is we created an amazing website for our SaaS business so that all of our new clients sign up through here and so all it is a website that looks really professional that is specific to our niche that shows potential clients all the features they get with the SaaS. so not only can you design websites you can create invoices all this stuff it looks really professional it doesn't look like a scam at all because it looks like it was built for a actual business um, here's some other features you know all of the integrations right it connects with the tools that you're already using google facebook stripe and this is all true go ahead level has already done the legwork of integrating with all of these partners you just have to showcase it and show them that you have a solid SaaS business that this is not something that is just a random SaaS that they don't trust that this looks like a legit business we've also made another version which is our dark theme so you can see kind of what it looks like it looks very professional it looks like an actual business you have to think about that you're competing with like actual software companies that have spent a lot of money into their marketing their branding all this stuff so you can't show up with something that looks like this like this is just horrible you can't show up to your clients with something that looks like this this is just bad and so that's the final step you'll send them this website they'll sign up to your SaaS. they'll click start now and it's going to take them to a two-step order and depending on how you have go ahead level set up whether you have go ahead level SaaS mode or just the normal agency mode you're going to have to either create a sub account for them or they get automatically created so the main thing here is your SaaS has to be on point clients don't trust sketchy looking softwares especially since it's recurring and it has to feel like a modern like a pro software so if you're starting your SaaS agency you're starting a hybrid go ahead level agency join my free course community in the description it's 100 free to join but we already have 107 spots taken out of 150 so it is free but we want to limit the amount of people in there so join before it's too late as always i'll see you in my next video